The fourth and final playoff spot in District 25-4A was on the line tonight in Marble Falls. Statesman.com made the trip northwest to see the Mustangs host Leander. The winner of tonight's game moved on to the playoffs. The loser season was over. Let's jump into first half action when Marble Falls looked like they would run away with this one. Zuri Buchanan was a big part of the Marble Falls attack. He finished with 89 yards and a touchdown. Sophomore quarterback Brennan Wooten made a number of big plays both through the air and on the ground. He's a rising star in the Central Texas area. The Mustangs nearly tripled Leander's total yards before the break. And this touchdown to Buchanan with only six seconds remaining in the half put the Mustangs up 20-6. to six. The Lions, however, came out of the locker room fast, scoring a quick touchdown set up by this long run by Ray Gibson. Running back had a number of huge runs throughout the night. After a quick Marble Falls three and out, Brendan Hopp flipped a pass out to Michael Lacaros, who took it 44 yards, and all of a sudden the score was 20 to 17, with still most of the second half still to be played. The Mustangs scored on the next possession to make it 27-17. But Lee Ender came right back and cut the lead back down to three when Hop connected with Mikhail Dawkins. With Marble Falls then driving in Lee Ender territory, Wooten is stripped and the ball is recovered by the Lions. Lee Ender would end up outscoring Marble Falls 28 to three in the third quarter. They turned a 20 to three halftime deficit into a 31-27 fourth quarter lead. Now this right here is the play of the game. Down 34-31 and facing fourth and goal at the one, Gibson fights and stretches to score the go-ahead touchdown. Now did his knee touch first? You can guess, but either way, it was a touchdown. 38-34 with only 2.41 to go. With the clock ticking down, Wooten went to his favorite target, Garrett Gray, but Zach Noska came down with the interception in the back of the end zone. Leander survives and will head to the 4A playoffs. You know, prognosticators picked us really high. We have a lot of inexperienced people playing. A lot of kids have never been on the varsity field. So it took us a while and, you know, we were able to come back uh, tonight. So we're fortunate, but it's, it's basically uh, building confidence for what we're going to do now. We talked to our seniors, obviously, about you got 24 minutes to make a change if you want to continue this season. If you keep doing what we ask them to do, keep playing hard, you know, and, and handle their, their position. If they can win their battle and they had 11 guys do that, then we could win the, win that play. And that, not, not to worry about the scoreboard so much as just doing the things we're supposed to do.